guys, Angela Bliss here with Angie's Art Asylum. This is my first YouTube video um, and I am going to be working with a 16 by 20 canvas and we're going to do a lightning pour. Um, Erica Art, um, Erica passed away this year, 2021, January, and uh, she inspired me to do this pour. So this is going to be um, a tribute to her. And uh, I uh, learned this pour between her and Fiona at Fiona Art. So um, I guess let's get started. Um, like I said, 16 by 20 uh, canvas. And uh, the paint I'm using today, um, I have a Sergeant Art Ultramarine Blue. Um, I love this color, and this paint works for me for this pour, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a Cerulean Blue by Arteza. It's really pretty blue. Artist Loft Violet. It's a really pretty purple. Uh, Artist Loft Deep Magenta. Scarlet Red by Arteza. This is a really awesome red. Orange Yellow by Arteza. I have a Cadne Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue by Liquitex Basics. The Cadmium Yellow Light Hue by Liquitex Basics. And um, I use a lot of Artist Loft High Flow White, so I just put it in this fancy little bottle here, and it makes it easy to get out. Um, I do mix my paints, uh, one part paint, uh, to about two and a half parts Floetrol, and a little squeeze of Liquitex Gloss Medium that I also put in this fancy little bottle here that helps me just squirt it out in the amounts that I need. Um, I thin my paint and Floetrol mixture with my Timber Slip Floetrol 90% water mixture. Um, I got that from Gina DeLuca. Um, she does it so I figure what the heck I'll try and it seems to work for me so um, that's that. And what we're going to need today is we're going to need the bottom of a bottle I've cut off from a water bottle, just a plastic bottle. Um, I don't know if it's even or not. I lost the other one that I had. So we'll just use it and see how it goes. So the white that I've mixed up, I just mixed up a little bit of it. We're going to pour it under the cap. We'll go ahead and get that down now. I think that should be enough. And if we need more, um, we'll see after we pour everything. And we'll just add it. But it's under there, so that works. So we're going to take these two cups. And we are going to add paint to each one of them, kind of even. Uh, hopefully it'll be even. We need about 12 ounces of paint for this canvas, is what I figured up. And I have about 18 ounces done up, so I think we're gonna, gonna be fine. And the paint consistency is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, it just kind of flows into the cup. You can kind of see it for just a second, and then it disappears. It's not really thin, but it's not really on the thick side either. It's kind of in the middle. This is uh, one of the pores that I really uh, absolutely love. Violet 
And I just pour on the sides so that it doesn't mix like a dirty cup pour. Um, it's more layered, kind of like you would do um, with a ring pour. My red, scarlet red, so pretty. You know, probably won't get a whole lot of cells with this uh, type of pour, but it's absolutely a beautiful pour, and it's a beautiful technique. Um, like I said, I do it a lot because I just absolutely love it. And you can change the colors up if you want. Uh, this is the way I learned it from Erica Art. So, because I'm tributing her in this video, I figured I would do it the way I was taught by her to do it. Huh. One of these, I got more paint in it, so that'll be all right. I think. I think we're good. And last one. Is this light? Okay, I'm yellow. Yeah, it stayed on top. Usually it tries to put to the bottom of me, so we're good. Alright. Almost evened it out. So we've got our white down. I'm gonna put this one away. And we're gonna pour from the yellow. We're just going to pour on the side of this. And we're not going to really move a whole lot. We're just going to kind of go up and down. So hopefully it didn't get too thinned out. Makes a really pretty design to you. Comes the red. And this kind of wraps itself around this little cup bottom, which is really cool. So pretty. Yeah, I think we're going to have enough paint, so. Now I do have a flow extender um, that I'm also going to use, but it's just made of drips, and I kind of just uh, thinned it down a little bit with some water. So I'm going to move this, because it's not the cap that I had. Move this so that it kind of goes down the same side. And we're going to start with the yellow again. Same thing. It's kind of moving it a little bit. Not too much. And this pour is really a pour that anyone could start doing. Um, I did. I think I might have done this, maybe this, I don't know, about the tenth time that I poured. I think pretty much I had done this pour and I've done it, I don't know, 
five or six times since then. And I really like it. So pretty. I love the colors. We're going to take this cap off and we can see what we have in there. My fingers off. So now I'm just going to take a little bit more white because I like a big white center. I'm going to go over some of this here. I'm going to take this skewer, this little wooden skewer that I have, and we're going to kind of wreck it a little bit um, and see what we can, can come up with. I love this yellow in here. It's really pretty. To kind of grab those couple of colors so that we can get a little more definition when you start tilting it. Here. I love how it kind of gives you a little definition in the middle as well with the colors that are underneath. For now, we can always go back and add more once we tilt it. Yeah, change my mind. Do that right there. Like I said, I made up um, half drips in this bottle and I thinned it down some, so it should be pretty thin to kind of just do a little extender around it so that it doesn't roll over itself. It kind of slides over this paint that I've put. Um, now, I don't remember what all paintings. I did with this that's in here so we may get like uh, it's clogged up we may get maybe some cells underneath I forget what uh, kind of pores I was doing so um, yeah we'll see it's the thing with art you never know what you're going to get especially this type of art. I mean, you kind of know in the beginning what you're trying for, but sometimes the results are a little different than what you expect, so... Um, and you may hate it, but other people may absolutely love it. I enjoy doing it, so... Um, that's what I do. I hope you enjoy it, too. Okay, I think I'm good. on the pop. 
up in a minute. That red is so pretty. So I know uh, some of you guys watch Mina Viegas art. Um, she has a HOA, which is a husband of awesomeness. I have a husband of perfection, so he's my hop. So when I refer to my hop, I'm referring to my HOP, not my HOA. Uh, he's, he's pretty amazing. Alright, I think it's almost time to start tilting. We will blow some air bubbles first. Obviously, it was a legitimate compliment because I was nowhere to hear it. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, all these little bubbles are. bubbles out of this paint. Alright. Let's see. So basically when I try to figure out what part of the design I want, I look and see uh, which part I want to keep first. So that's usually the first side that I tilt. Um, I'm just going to kind of move it around a little bit, make sure it's sliding. And it is. And I think um, I really like that purple at the top, so maybe we'll just go that way. coming down here, so I'm just going to let it slide. Move back to the center. I love that blue. It's so pretty. Um, where's my paint? I'm going to paint down a little bit. I'm going to go over to this corner. Really slow. I'm just going to inch it over. that came up to you. Kind of got like a ghosty thing going on in the middle, so we'll see how that works. Paint. 
So, um, yeah, I love this piece. It's uh, it's really cool, and also uh, the white's a little wider than I normally than it normally comes out. So I'm just gonna kind of help my visualness along a little bit. Uh, kind of give it a little bit of detail in where it's kind of faded out. So it's our art, right? So we can kind of take those uh, chances to kind of fix it the way we want to. Thing happening. I love this. It's really awesome with the blue coming through. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's beautiful. Um, and I will edit this video so that we can get the dried results at the end uh, in a couple of days. And when you see the video, of course, it will be on there. So um, I appreciate you guys being with me today. Um, experiencing my very first YouTube video. Um, remember to like, subscribe, share. I would appreciate it. Um, and comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me do next. Um, any things that I can help you with. Uh, I'm still learning as well. So um, hopefully we can all uh, help each other together because that's what this community is all about. I appreciate you guys taking time out, watching my video, and uh, happy pouring. Okay, guys, it's dry time, and this picture turned out beautiful. Um, remember the red I was talking about? That red is so pretty, and those blues... And the little bit of wrecking we did in it. It's just amazing. It goes all the way up the sides. We have some little cells that came up underneath the color. It made it really pretty. This blue I was talking about came through. So yeah, you guys can definitely do this pour. It was really, really fun to do. And thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and share and like and comment. And let me know what you guys want to see me do next. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.